Okie doke, today we're going to make a potato au gratin in the crock pot with ground beef. I actually have ground elk, so I have two, about two pounds, maybe two and a half pounds of ground meat with onion chopped in it. Over here I have regular just potatoes that I peeled and sliced with my mandolin. I want them to be exactly the same thickness, so I use that to slice those. I have some chopped up onions here. This is paprika, garlic, salt, pepper. I think that's it. It's just a kind of like a teaspoon of paprika and then a half a teaspoon of garlic and then a quarter of salt, pepper. Chicken stock, I just made my own out of bouillon because it only calls for a cup, so I don't want to open a whole can. So I have a cup of hot water and a teaspoon of chicken bouillon granules. I have my crock pot and my um, cheddar cheese. So first thing we'll do is we'll layer the potatoes in the bottom of the crock pot. So I'll put a bit in here and then I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll go from there. So we're gonna put a pretty good size layer down here of potatoes in the bottom of this crock pot. Cover the bottom and make it, you know, a little bit deeper on the bottom. We don't want to be sparse about it. We want it to be covered pretty good. And then I'm going to take my seasoning here that's mixed and I'm going to kind of just sprinkle it, sprinkle it in here on top of these potatoes like this. Okay. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of onion in here, also on top of these potatoes, kind of like this. I'll show you what this part looks like in just a minute. So let me grab my phone over here so I can take you over here and let you see what it looks like so far. So we have potatoes, seasoning, and the onions in there. Now I'm going to put a nice dose of the meat and some cheese and then relayer. So let's go ahead and put the camera back over here. Okay. So now I'm going to get my meat. There's no fat in elk meat, but if it was ground beef, you want to drain the fat off. As you can see, there is no fat here. So I'm going to move this over here so I can get it in here without making a big mess. So I'm just going to kind of come up here like this and cover a nice layer of the meat. I think we're probably only going to have two layers, I don't remember. Meat's cooked with onion, I put some garlic powder in the onion, in the meat as I was browning it too, just so you know. About half of the meat is what I'm going to want to use. And that's probably pretty good. So that's about half of it. Kind of make sure it's spread out in here so it's sort of even. And then I'm going to put I like lots of cheese, so I'm going to put a generous amount of cheese out in, in here as well to just cover the entire top of it really good. This is two pounds of cheese. It's been open. We used it for something else, so not the whole two pounds, but that's okay. Okay, so, so here's what the inner layer looks like. Okay meat and cheese, half of it. Now I'm going to put another layer of potatoes in here. So I'm just going to layer these like this, like I did before. I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay. So let's go ahead and put a nice big layer of potatoes here. We have a lot of potatoes, so let's just fill it up. It's a good meal. I like to go around the edges first in a circle and then pile up as I want top of that because I don't think you can have too many tomatoes or potatoes unless you fill the whole thing overwhelmingly but that's okay and if there's any potatoes left over just put them in the fridge and cook them tomorrow boil them to make mashed potatoes it makes mashed potatoes really quick because they're thin so I'm gonna put a good nice thick layer though so maybe a double layer of potatoes will do how about that? We'll do a double potato layer. This is so simple, so yummy. It usually takes about four hours on high. My crock pot's pretty hot, so it might be done in um, three hours, but it doesn't matter. It's a Sunday. We can eat early. 
Okay, so I have quite a bit of the potatoes in here. I'm gonna grab this seasoning again and sprinkle this, okay? Sprinkle this just evenly on everything in here. Okay. Here's what we look like so far. Now I'm gonna sprinkle the onions and the, and the meat. Okay, so onions are next. Just so you know, it's snowing outside. This is, what is today? Today is January like 24th, I think. And it's snowing pretty nicely. If you have any extra onions, you can add extra if you want. Some people don't like a lot. Dad doesn't like a lot, so I'm not gonna put a lot. But now I'm gonna put the rest of this meat in here. Just pour it on top, and then make sure you can spread it around. So let's just put this in here. Okay. Spread it around a little bit so it covers the surface. I'll add a little bit more onions on top. I'm going to put my pan over here. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to put a little more onions in here just because I have them left and I might as well, right? Okay. And I'm just going to use up the rest of these few potatoes just in here too. Why not, right? <laughs> I don't want to cover it though because I want to make sure that my cheese will get all melty and yummy down in there. So now my handfuls of cheese because, yeah, it's not low cal, but it tastes pretty darn good. So. There's quite a bit of cheese, and of course you can always add cheese to your bowl when you're serving it. And I have my cup of chicken stock that I made from just chicken bouillon and hot water, and you just pour this in. This helps the potatoes to cook. I'm just going to kind of gently pour it through here like this. So it'll kind of go to the bottom, and as it cooks, it'll sort of keep it from sticking down there. Okay? So that's it there. Then I'm going to put my lid on, put it on high, and just watch it. And if it looks like it's starting to boil away and I feel like it's going to be done too early, then I can always turn it off and let it sit in here. So put it on high, put your lid on it, and now you get to ignore it. So, you know, my crock pot takes three hours. Some people's takes four. It just depends on how hot it is. But there you have a ground beef or elk burger potato a gratin um, crock pot it has raw potatoes sliced all evenly paprika salt pepper garlic powder onion ground meat with onion cheese and chicken stock in it so it's pretty yummy so we'll see what it looks like in a little while took me eight minutes to put it together Thought you might want to see what it looks like in my house while I'm making my crock pot of comfort food. We are enjoying the beautiful snow up here, so it's going to be really nice to have my warm, comfy food out of my nice hot crock pot. Let me turn around over here. This over here is always a beautiful view. You can see right around the house where the canopy of the trees protect it from the snow, but everywhere there's not big trees, it gets over here. And that's kind of my favorite view. So here's what we are doing. Lots of, it's been snowing all day today.